Are you a hardcore gamer and you just got that brand new high-end graphics card like an RTX 3090? I'm going to show you how to connect your gaming rig to your surround sound system through your brand new HDMI 2.1 compatible Denon and Marantz AVR. So first, let's connect your television set. You need to have a TV that supports HDMI 2.1 for this to work, either an 8K TV or a TV that supports a higher frame rate up to 120 frames per second. In this video, we're using a Samsung Q800T, which is an 8K TV, but it supports 4K gaming at 120 frames per second. Setting up each TV brand is different, but let's just talk about how to set up the Samsung. To support the higher bandwidth that is required from HDMI 2.1, make sure that the signal input plus for the HDMI input connected to your receiver slash game system is set to on. The Samsung TV also supports auto low latency mode, so make sure that the game mode setting in the Samsung TV is set to auto. Now let's set up your HDMI 2.1 compatible Denon or Marantz AVR. Bring up the menu, and under the video settings menu, you will find an option for 4K, 8K signal format. Select 8K enhanced, but only do this if you have a display that is HDMI 2.1 compatible like the Samsung we are using in this video. Many of us have older HDMI 2.0B displays, which can support 4K gaming at up to 60 frames per second in HDR or SDR. If you have one of those displays, leave the receiver in its default setting of enhanced. When you switch the receiver setting to 8K enhanced, the picture will probably disappear. The screen will go blank. You will need to disconnect and reconnect the Marantz or Denon receiver to reestablish communication sync between the receiver and the display. Because remember, you're switching from the older standard, which uses three lanes of traffic to pass 18 gigabits of video signal, to now the new standard that has four lanes of traffic, which can pass far more bandwidth. Now it's time to set up your PC to output 4K at 120 frames per second. The first thing you need to do is go to your PC's settings menu. And under the display sub menu, you need to select the HDMI 2.1 compatible display connected to your computer. Once that display is selected, set the display resolution to 3840 by 2160 and verify that you want to keep this setting. To verify that your computer is now outputting 4K at 120 frames per second, you can go to the advanced display settings. If you have multiple monitors, select the monitor number that coincides to the HDMI compatible display that's connected to your computer. Under the advanced display settings, you could see the display's resolution, its refresh rate, whether or not it's playing back in SDR or HDR, and also the bit depth. You may notice that the bit depth is set to 8-bit, but don't worry, that will be corrected in the next steps. If you notice that the resolution or frame rate is incorrect, go to Adapter Properties. Then select List All Modes for your HDMI 2.1 display and select the proper resolution and frame rate. Now let's talk about changing your bit depth from 8-bit to 10-bit. To make some additional adjustments, now let's go to the NVIDIA Control Panel. Go to the Display menu and select Change Resolution. Verify that the resolution is set to 3840 by 2160. Once you choose Use NVIDIA Color Settings option, you will be given the opportunity to change the output color depth from 8-bit to 10-bit. If your system is compatible, you may have the option of turning on Variable Refresh Rate under the G-Sync option. To ensure seamless playback with no video blackouts, make sure that your TV as well as your NVIDIA graphics card is running the latest firmware. Download the GeForce Experience software to make sure that your graphics card is running the latest game-ready drivers. Under General, you can find all the information about your current computer system. Under Drivers, you can verify that your graphics card is running the latest firmware. Now let's verify that your system is running 4K at 120 frames per second. First, you can go back into the computer. Under the Settings menu, select the Display sub-menu. And if you go to the advanced display settings, you should see 4K 120 with 10-bit color. 
You can also verify that the receiver is passing 4K 120 by pressing the info button on the receiver's remote control, which will show you the input and the output, what is going through the receiver. And you will see 4K 120 is enabled. When you press the info button, you may see the receiver is passing 40 gigabits per second. While the maximum bandwidth of HDMI 2.1 is 48, this far exceeds the capabilities of today's 10-bit panels. All displays that are currently available to consumers utilize 10-bit panels. So at 10 bits, at 444, at 120 frames per second, the maximum bandwidth required is 40. So you're going to get the maximum picture quality that your display can possibly show you. The HDMI 2.1 input on a Denon or Marantz receiver can support up to 40 gigabits per second. Remember, while the maximum capability of HDMI 2.1 is 48 gigabits per second, 48 gigabits per second exceeds the capabilities of all current displays and the output of most HDMI 2.1 sources. If you want more detail about the signal being passed through your Denon or Marantz AVR, there's also a couple of other menus you can look at. Just press the setup button on the receiver's remote, go down to general, select information, and under the video submenu, you will see two different info menus. And these menus can provide you with tons of information, including resolution, frame rate, HDR, what type of HDR, and what additional HDMI 2.1 features are being passed from your source to your display. Lastly, you can also verify that the TV is receiving content in 4K 120 by bringing up the TV's info screen. Once you set up your display, your receiver, and your PC, you are ready for 4K gaming at 120 frames per second. But remember, just because the system can output 4K at 120 frames per second does not mean that your system is capable of outputting that frame rate on every single game or, if, or that the developer even gave you the option. So while the system is set up to output 4K at 120 frames per second, your game may be rendering frames at a much lower frame rate. To determine which games are compatible with 4K at 120 frames per second and, and whether your system can support that, you need to refer to the game developer. So I hope the information found in today's video is helpful for you. So take care and happy gaming.